Hey, what's up, everybody? If you're new to our channel, my name's Adam Kramer, and uh, this is Metal Dreams Farm. We farm roughly 600 acres in northern Indiana. Uh, me, my dad, and my uh, two twin boys that are four. They love to come over here. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different video than I normally do. We're going to be installing the farm TRX system yield monitor moisture sensor on our combine, older series 2366. So if you enjoy that, come check us out on my normal channel. This is Kellen. You want to say hi, bud? Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. That's Kellen. He's got a little brother, Crew, that looks exactly like him. So. Yeah, we're gonna dive into this here. So let's see how this goes. It's supposed to be pretty easy and you know, I'm gonna give my honest review. So here we go. Farm TRX yield monitor. Yeah. Ready to bust this bad boy open? Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. This is the yield monitor and this is the moisture sensor. And that's a combine. True story. Alrighty. Alright. Okay, so this is the main brains of it. This has a Bluetooth sensor in it so you can hook it to your phone or an iPad that you use as a monitor in the combine. Yeah. So that's the main main brains. And these are the optical sensors that we need to install on the front and back of the clean grain elevator. And that's what will give us our yield. It comes with these, uh, comes with drill bits to drill it all out. This is as an extension. Hold on, buddy. And then, so you use this one as a pilot hole to drill into the clean grain elevator. And then that is a step drill to make the hole the right size. Here's to bring that here, bud. And then we'll use this to drill through to the back of it so it all lines up. It's pretty cool that it comes with that stuff. Alright. And there's all our wiring. So these are the actual mounts right here that the sensors snap into. It's just double sided tape on the back. So it should be fairly easy to install. We'll check that out when we get to that point. This is a little GPS sensor for the yield monitor that will mount on the roof. Yeah, that's all there is to that one. Pretty simple, hopefully. Looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. We'll work on doing that today and then we might do the other stuff another day. So that's where we're gonna start. Alright, let's check out this moisture sensor. A quick guide. And then here's the actual moisture sensor itself. And then this is a template. This is a template to uh, help cut out the hole. So basically this will go on the bottom of the clean grain elevator like that. Then we'll cut the hole out and uh, it'll mount up there like that on the bottom. So just to go, if you went straight down, you want to come over to between the six and seven o'clock range. That's where you want to put it. So. 
That's pretty much all you gotta do for the moisture sensor. Alright, so the first step is to uh, mark where we're gonna mount this thing on here. It doesn't really give specific measurements for our combine, which is a uh, 2366. It just says to mount it as high as possible and centered on the pallets. Which a lot of the combines that are similar to mine, it shows putting it an inch and three quarters back from the front. So I think we'll do that. And then I think we're going to go in this area right here. Or there. I don't like being around that chain really. Yeah, so we'll probably do it here. Yep, I think I'm going to go right there. So I'm going to measure it out and mark it and then we'll, uh, we'll drill it in. Yeah, that should work. I think that's what we're going to go with. Right here. It's our mark spot, and then we got to hit it with the center punch and uh, drill that first hole. Okay. What? Okay, Daddy. Okay, you going to do it? You want me to go get the drill for you? Yeah. You're going to drill it in there? Yeah. Please do, Hulkman. So easy a four year old can do it. Mm -hmm. There, ready? Mm -hmm. Press the button. Okay. Keep going. Yeah. Good job. Go on, Stern. All right, now that we got that hole in there, we got to switch over to the step drill and go all the way up to the biggest size. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, hit her. Hold on, hold on. Stay there, okay? Okay. Let's let that be. Probably have some safety glasses on. Maybe how we got safety glasses on. Yeah. You got glasses on, Christopher, so you don't need them. We do. There you go. Look at the camera, show them how cool you look. Dang, what a cool dude. All right, you ready? Keep going. Okay. Get it to it. Ow. Want to get you? Good job, bud. Give me that Alright, now we gotta clean this surface around the hole here. Oh, we're gonna do that part, Dad. I got it, bud. Alright, you guys go play for a little bit. Okay, so we'll got an alcohol pad here to get everything off to really make this uh, holder stick to it. We're going to throw this on there. And we're going to press for uh, like 15 seconds. So it gets a good seal. So I think we'll install it like that. Just like that. That'll work good because then we can run through there. That'll work for that. Now we got to do the back side. Alright, so it cools, comes with this cool extension for the drill bit. And you just pull it down and it comes out. Just a quick connect for it. That's pretty nice that it comes with that. So we'll install, install that back in there. And we'll put this on our drill. Like that.
Helps if you put that on the bed first. Like that. So now that's on there. Push her in there. Lock that in, then that that'll give us a straighter shot to the back. Now, so now we'll put on the, that step drill again. Put that on the extension. And we'll run that drill. Sensor came back off, but we'll push it back on. All right, now we just gotta clean the back here and uh. File that a little bit. Got a little bit of a burr on it, so I'll take that off. One year old in your machine, and if you can run your finger over it and you don't cut yourself, you're all right. So that's probably good enough. I'm gonna clean it off with an alcohol pad like we did on the front and uh, apply the mount. And then I think those optical sensors will just snap in and that part of it will be done. Run the wires up with these other wires that we we're talking about. So we'll snap them in and can run the wires up with those up to the cab. So that was. That was fairly simple. Alrighty. All right, we'll bring this wire around and put it with this one. We'll probably zip tie them together like that and then we'll run it right with those I do think they put some serious thought into the install process because it's pretty simple so that's nice not hard at all so the only thing I don't totally like is how they had us drill through there because I don't know if that would be the most accurate way to Get them to be perfectly aligned but i mean it was definitely the simplest way it made it really easy to install like we're done already that didn't take very long to do that portion of it but hopefully it'll work good that we could come up with some type of jig that would slide over this and align it better but, but i think it'll be good all right so we got that installed just gotta finish running the wire into the cab. But yeah, we got our sensors, got all our wires running up with the wires that are already running up to the cab. And then this one will come down here to our moisture sensor that will get installed in there. So that's the first step. 
All right, I got my area marked out on here where I want everything. I started by drilling some hole saw holes. Then I'll match that. And then I'll go to using an angle grinder to cut the rest out. circle cut out of it. Still got to drill holes. Those four holes. And I'm going to clean that up a little bit, but at least we got our cut out of there. That's nice. Using this was so much easier than trying to use the, the hole saws, but I don't know. It works. If I would have had it on a drill press, it would have been a lot easier, but using a hand drill and isn't ideal for doing this. He got the job done though. All right, so we're kind of wrapping this guy up. I did take this with me to work and just grind it down the sides and stuff. It, the holes that I cut on there worked out pretty good. So I just grind it down the sides and drilled the holes on the drill press at work, which makes it a little easier, but yeah, we got her on there. I'm gonna throw that on the combine, plug it in and we're pretty much set up. It was a pretty easy setup process. So that's really nice. I think the hardest part was drilling the holes in this and cutting that out. But if you had a plasma torch, uh, that would have been a cinch too. So yeah, let's knock this baby out. Why you Is this? That way they can see what I'm doing. Gotta let the people see what you're doing, bud. Uh oh. It's a good, it's a good looking spot. What do you think? Yeah. Think that's a good spot? Yeah. Alright. As long as you give us the okay. <laughs> you're gonna be my cameraman someday. What do you think? Good. <laughs> when you grow up? You gonna be my, you gonna farm with me when you grow up? You gonna farm with me when you grow up? Yeah. You gonna drive a combine? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I hope so. Alrighty, got her all installed. About the seven o'clock position. Then we got the wire running up and back behind. And it ties in with, uh, the wires that go up to our sensor here. And then I just got them running up and running with all the other cables up to the cab. So that, that's pretty much it. The other day we put in the GPS and, or the antenna and the brain up in the cab. So that's all hooked up. I think she's ready to roll. Now we just need some stuff to pick. So we can calibrate it and get her going. That's the next step. I'm going to start researching that. But yeah, I was very happy with how that went together. It was a very simple process. Putting in the 
The optical sensors was really easy. And uh, yeah, the hardest part was cutting that bottom bottom cover. That was the hardest thing. Besides that, everything else was pretty smooth. Gotta get her hooked up and uh, we'll probably make another video once we get closer to harvest where I get the iPad in there and, and we'll start figuring out kind of how it all works, but that's, that's pretty much it. I really want to thank everyone for watching and I'd love for you to come check out our channel. A lot of it's farming related, some of it's just stuff when I go out with the boys and do fun things. So we'll see you next time, hopefully. Come on over and check us out. Yeah. Yeah.